Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny to all of my returning subscribers. Hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Kick your feet up as I give a recap of an incident that happened during an interview between Angie Taylor and Amanda Seals. Now, the platform of this channel is movie and television show recaps and reviews as well as health and wellness videos. But I've been receiving a lot of DM messages on Instagram saying, Bunny, I really love how you recap episodes and then give your analysis at the end. I really like how you break things down. Can you give your opinions about certain things that's been happening within pop culture? And I said, okay, let me give this a try. And this particular incident caught my attention. So let's talk. It's episode one. It's Bunny. Before I give my two cents about this particular situation, I want to give brief cliff notes to those who are unaware of what happened or what's going on. What intrigued me to talk about this is on Instagram, I kept seeing hashtags reading Cancer Amanda Seals. And when I would go into the comment section that was under the real television show or that had anything to do with Amanda Seals specifically, I kept saying, seen comments that read that was terrible she didn't have to react that way during the interview while wow, Angie handled that very well Amanda is always very angry I can't stand her and I'm thinking wow what happened what went on and why are people so angry and what is the situation so a couple of days ago Angie Taylor is a radio um, show host and there was a zoom meeting scheduled because of COVID-19 restrictions of course and there was a question asked from Angie to Amanda about a particular situation. Now, I'll play the audio clip so you can listen to it and gather your thoughts about the situation. I don't want to, like, you know, go from talking about how fun and everything the show is to, like, drama. But can I bring up, because you brought it up, too, um, what happened with all the the parties and the Amanda is that what was not invited. Me on what, the what's that? I know you did not think I was coming on here to talk about that. I didn't think you were coming on here I to have talk about so that. many projects. I have so much work that I have done. You don't want to I talk don't about know what drama? about me would make you think I'm going to come up on here on a Tuesday evening mm -hmm. to have a gossip conversation with you. So we're not going to gossip at all. I don't know. I just don't. I'm 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 flabbergasted by the gall of y'all when you when you come up questions like this. I don't. I don't well, understand. Amanda, Amanda, I don't it's, understand it because I, of, I have Amanda, been in your position. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Amanda. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It is. I've been in your position. It's I don't know why you would think that that's not because a you commented question. on it, Amanda. You commented on it, and so on I, my own platform. Right. On my own platform. That's your platform. This That's my is own my platform. I just okay. never understood. I've been a radio host before, and I've okay. never come out like that with people. Like, I, if anything, I ask ahead of time. Like, uh -huh. is this something you want to talk about? You uh -huh. know, because it is controversial, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like bringing that, you're right. Taking from that conversation and going into, it's not, and someone's like, it's their job to ask. No, it's not. Because it's not even factual. This is... I'm talking about, I have a Smart Penny and Black show. We're in a quarantine. I'm on the real. I'm right. running secure. And I, like, have, I look, real, got my let season let five pick up letter you. today. Let me show like you. It should, always be in the, it should always be in the nature of positivity. I'm not on a reality show. Amanda, I'm a huge fan. I've always been a huge fan. But at the same time, if I don't ask you questions that you put out there, people are going to come to me. As you say, you've been on the radio. And you know what you if I don't ask you those questions, you know what you tell people them? are going to be like, why aren't you You know what you real? tell them? You know what you tell them? What do I? I tell didn't them? ask her that because I'm not a gossip columnist. I'm a radio. I'm not a gossip columnist, but you that's what that you tell there. them. I didn't ask I'm her that because I'm not dirt. a gossip columnist. I'm a radio host, and okay. I want to talk to her about the positive things going on in her life because that's more important. And because she okay. is not here, she didn't sign up for this interview to talk about 
Okay, gotcha. I have 87 notes of prep because I am like a huge fan. Well, like, I don't have any interest in talking about that. If you want to talk about something else, I'm fine. I've already, okay. I've already addressed this. Else. I've already addressed this ad nauseum. I don't know what else you want to know. We won't There's talk so about many it. other times I've talked about this, and you can research that for anybody who's curious. You can go we to the Breakfast Club. It. You can go to my podcast. You can go to the blogs. I'm just, I, I don't have any interest in that. So okay. next question. I have a lot of respect for you, Amanda. I do not want to offend, and I'm coming from a place of love. Would you like to talk about your book? Let's talk about your book. How's the book going? How are book sales? How's everything going? Book, book? sales are fantastic. Okay. Book sales are fantastic. So we're talking about quarantine, and I was thinking about... Okay, everybody, just breathe. <laughs> just take a breath, okay? Before you get amped up, because we're going to have a nice little talk about this, okay? Before we just pop off and just start saying, let's cancel this person. She's terrible. She's, ah, right? Let's try to review this situation and dissect it as much as we can. Because that's the best way to understand our actions. None of us are perfect, correct? Let me start off by saying Angie Taylor did a very good job professionally of catching the potential emotional reaction back to her. She did a wonderful job in saying, okay, I didn't mean to disrespect you. I'm a fan. She pulled back a lot of the responses because she could tell that it, it was starting to look like an argument. So she said, I'm a fan. I, I Professionally, I need to ask you this question because it was a big topic. It was a big thing. I don't mean to do that and be gossipy or anything like that but it was something that was a big deal and I felt like I had to answer that and she pushed back a little bit and then she stepped back so that's great and she moved on to the next question and she did it so well that Amanda eventually felt that there wasn't any ill intent and something to create this drama or sort of conflict and then you can hear Amanda take a breath and then they move on to the next question okay now let's see it from Amanda's perspective we have to I'll view every everything from each point of view right Amanda whether you agree with her or not had every right to get upset in her eyes, she felt that, hey, I've answered this on every platform. I don't want to talk about this again. It's making me feel like this is gossip and not an intellectual interview. Okay? It's just, as Iyana Van Zant would say, your delivery or your actions clouded your message. Right? I'm not understanding where you're coming from because there's this defensive anger behind it or perceived as anger reaction that you've had to me she has a right to voice her opinion and of course we all have handled situations to where it wasn't the best reaction that we could have given and I really really want people to understand that we're all human Angie recognized that she had a moment emotionally and she did a good job of going around that in the correct way to move on and to not destroy the complete interview because they had an hour to go and they're only 15 20 minutes in right um so let's move on to if we were in that situation how we would have handled that a little better if I were her publicist, if I were someone who was talking to her, I would say next time it would have been more feasible to say no comment. I don't feel comfortable answering that question or I've answered that question before on other platforms. Can we please move on? That would have been something from the outside looking in, you know, duh, that we would have said, you know, we've been in situations where like, I shouldn't have said that. But. Even though the delivery was incorrect, we're like, hey, I didn't mean to say it like that, but I meant what I said. I didn't mean to yell at you. I didn't mean to do this, but what I meant and what I said, that's that's what I meant, you know, but not necessarily adding some things in there that could have been um, left out. Um, so now let's talk about how I think this evolved 
Later on in the interview, Amanda says something very interesting. And I could tell, as I guessed, that she was under a lot of tension. I mean, think about it. We have this COVID-19 situation. She's probably been on Zoom after Zoom after Zoom interview. And she made a comment that she was actually pretty frustrated with the industry, with everything that's going on. So I'm going to let you hear that clip because it it explains a lot. You know, it doesn't yeah. bother them. But I know for me, I think um, that's not my bag. Like, I don't. You're done with stand-up? You don't want to do stand-up anymore? No, it's not that. I'm just saying I don't even want, I don't even know if I want to do any of this Hollywood shit anymore. Really? Because I have to answer questions like you was asking. I really am just over all of this. I, I think it is so frustrating to be an artist in this time because I think when I was coming up, I feel like we didn't have so much access to people. And so like the art is what really spoke for people more than like the stuff going on in their lives. Like, okay. I don't know, I, I don't know much about Prince's life, you know, like, I, but I know like Prince's music, like to the top and to the bottom. And I think like a lot of the people that I looked up to as icons and, you know, as like these crafters of such a, um, of such an era of incredible work, like they were able to do that because they didn't have the disruption of having to not only serve an audience art as well as serving them their entire lives. Yeah. Right. I, so, I know, I know so everything you, about uh, Prince's and, life. I grew up in Minneapolis. I lived right down the street from Prince. I grew up a Prince stan and I understand how protective he was of his craft and his art and that he didn't have a lot of the commentary on every single thing he did and he didn't want everything online and I get that part of it. Okay, you guys. So if you heard, there is this moment of transparency, right? Where unintentionally we hear why there was potential frustration with that question. Now let's first admit that what Amanda said is so relevant to this day. For those of you who have not listened to my podcast in the first episode, You're So Not Okay, I encourage you to listen to that. It's talking about social media and how it has an impact on our men mental health. I will post that link in the comments. Let's understand and let's know that for those of us who are not in the entertainment industry, we have a different level of understanding when it comes to privacy. We cannot connect on that. We do not have our every move, our every action taped, recorded, and placed for the world to see. Am I saying that her actions were okay? No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> but let's, let's use our empathy right now. Because I notice there's a lot of cancel this, cancel that. When we need to understand that we're judging a platform in a world that we can't associate or understand. Privacy parameters in that world is totally different. As I get more into my profession and what I'm doing, I understand that. Not YouTube, I'm talking about something else. There are elements of privacy that with time, they will never be the same. Never. Imagine every time that you walked out of the door, you were being photographed. Every time that you speak, you're being possibly recorded. It's a totally different world. So that's what this Let, Let's Talk episode is about. For this world and our generation and this tech, tech, technology world that we're living in when it comes to communication. And now that we've had this big shift with COVID-19, we're having stress, we're having confusion. We don't know what the next step is in this world when it comes to economy. So there's this big shift. And I knew from early on in the episode, she already seemed like it was something on her mind and on her heart, heart that she wanted to talk about um last but not least to wrap up this first episode because I don't want it to be too long 
let's start doing that. I encourage you all to understand to step back and talk. If there is a situation where you are misunderstood, it's very easy to say, well, I didn't like how that person reacted. She shouldn't do this and she shouldn't do that. Let's take a step back, analyze why that person might be feeling that way. Don't justify if it's right or if it's wrong, but talk about the future and how we can make this better. I think that Amanda was so hurt from a lot of the comments and the situation that she went through when trying to enter that party that the interviewer was speaking of, Angie, that it brought up some past emotions that maybe she thought had already passed and it hurt her and there was this lash out. Now, I know many of you, now let's talk about something else. Many of you will say, she went on this rant about how she's been on the radio. She's done this. She's done that. She has all of these platforms. She should know how to hold herself accordingly, professionally. I 100% agree. If you lash out at a comp customer at McDonald's, it's highly likely your manager will pull you to the side. So if you can't get away with that working on a different platform so far as that, what makes you think you can get away with it when it comes to any other platform? I get it. I understand it. But the first step is analyzing the situation because they are on the verge of let's cancel this, let's cancel that. It's always a switch on and switch off. Amanda, in my opinion, with this situation is a soft grain of what we've heard, unfortunately, about her in the industry. That she's snippy with people, she's snappy with people, she doesn't get along, allegedly, with other people. So if that's the case, then there needs to be that element of, can I potentially implode, right, my career because if it starts this domino effect of negative we don't want to speak with her because there's potentially going to be this there's potentially going to be that no matter what your job is I hope that that will be a moment to analyze how you react to people or what you do her that one reaction unfortunately in the industry that she she's in will make people think she's that way all of the time. Okay? I'm not saying that people aren't like that, right? Um, because that's true. People could really be particular ways, whether they're in an interview or not. But let us take a minute to talk and understand that we do have parameters of behavior in no matter what job or role that we're in. If this is an issue that you have which is not knowing and learning the parameters of communication, then talk about it. Is it affecting your career? Is it affecting relationships with family and friends? Do you have a habit of reacting a certain way? And I do believe that there is a difference between being defensive and being passionate about what you're talking about. And I really think majority of the time, Amanda is very passionate about what she says. And she gets asked the same questions over and over again. So I can only imagine the frustration of having to repeat herself over and over again. And I hope it doesn't have a domino effect to something as... Uh, popular as the real because the real is really popular and hmm I hope that there's not a negative reaction on that show because you have very very headstrong educated beautiful women on that show and I don't want anybody's opinion on that show to be perceived as this is a negative angry black woman that's how they react and yada 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 so I hope that that behavior doesn't implode her platforms from within not explode but implode them um, let me know what you think subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any post and follow me on instagram at the same profile name official bun underscore e this is just episode one look forward to more episodes coming soon i love you guys stay safe stay positive and let me know your thoughts in the comments please remember to be respectable in the comments and please be nice to one another everyone has their right to their opinion 
there is a way to say and do things. All right, you guys. See you next time. Bye. Check out those playlists and binge watch. Yeah!